Do you remember when Andy Cole signed for Manchester United? Well, it was 25 years ago this week, the 10th of January 1995. And one of the biggest transfer shocks in the history of the English Premier League. A real coup for Alex Ferguson when he signed Andy Cole for £7 million. Because Kevin Keegan decided to cash in on his star striker. And what a surprise it was for the Geordie faithful because Andy Cole was a cult hero at St James's Park. He scored a club record 41 goals the previous season. But Keegan decided to cash in, trading him for Keith Gillespie, a hugely talented youngster, was taken in part exchange. He was valued at around £1 million in the deal. But the whole thing was a complete surprise to everybody in football. Let's just remind ourselves what the reaction was from Alex Ferguson and Andy Cole back in the day when United made that signing in 1995. I felt we then needed someone who was sharp and quick running over the edge of the box. And that's why we bought Andy. A big shot. You know, I don't think, I think it's a shock to you boys as well because no one thought that Kevin Keegan was so like arch rivals Man United, but I'm looking forward to it. And Andy Cole went on to become the third highest goal scorer in the history of the English Premier League behind another Newcastle hero, Alan Shearer, and our own record goal scorer, Wayne Rooney. Well, it wasn't the first time Alex Ferguson pulled off a major surprise in the transfer market. Two seasons earlier, he signed this guy from Leeds United. And what would current manager Ole Gunnar Solskjaer give to sign a Cole or a Cantona in the current transfer market? Ole's done fantastically well with the kids, but he needs some experience and strength to bolster his squad. We need at least a couple of midfielders and we never have too many strikers. Remember when Cole played, he played alongside Dwight York, one of the greatest combinations we've had up front for United. And when United won the treble, we had four strikers, Teddy Sheringham and also Ole Gunnar Solskjaer himself. What a combination, what a set of four strikers that was. It was any two from four, sometimes three from four, and occasionally all four strikers got to play for Manchester United. And fully behind Ole building his team around the kids, Fergie did the same when he built a team around the class of 92. But Beckham, Giggs, Scholes, Butt and the Neville brothers thrived alongside the more experienced Cantona and other senior players. And Fergie was always in the market for top players. At Manchester United, we've often changed the course of history by making big signings at the right time. In my days following the Reds, I remember many such signings, from Dennis Law and Brian Robson to Eric Cantona and Cristiano Ronaldo, Ruud van Nistelrooy and Wayne Rooney, just to name a few. For the record, Andy Cole ended up with five Premier League titles, two FA Cups and one Champions League. If our current players are going to get anything like that collection of silverware, we've got to get busy in the transfer market as well as nurturing our homegrown talent. Well, if you've enjoyed this combination of uh, comment and clips from the archive, please subscribe to the channel and like some of the videos. We can't do it without your support. So please subscribe to the channel and hopefully... I'll see you again next time.